Welcome back everyone and welcome to day 11 of Self Care Miss. My name is Heather Evans and I'm your self care and empowerment coach. For the best advice on how to keep your self care at the top of your festive to do list this season, remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every other day in the month of December. Welcome back everybody. It is day 11 of self care miss. And today I wanted to take a look at the self care and wellness trends that are out there. The ones that really rose to the top of the list in 2019 and that are carrying over into the new year. Now, these trends that I'm highlighting are ones that have also made an impact in my life. I am not a trendy person. In fact, that is the last word I would probably use to describe myself, but I do pay attention to science. I pay attention to research and I pay attention to what seems to be making the biggest difference for people when it comes to self care. When I'm sharing these with you, these are the ones that also made a difference for me over the past year. And I plan on carrying them over into 2020. Number one, you have to put self-care into practice. It has to be experiential. People are looking for experiences. They're not just looking to read a book on self-help and then stick it back on their nightstand and never apply it. People, and myself included, enjoy the process of application of what we've learned. If we aren't applying it, then meh, is it really making a difference? Some might argue yes, I'm sure that if you read a book you are getting some information, but it's the application that really makes the difference. And if we can apply it through experience, if we can actually experience the shift, experience the difference in our body, in our lives, it's going to make that much more of a difference. Trend number two that we're seeing is all about sleep. Now, as the mom of a toddler, I can tell you after almost two years of not having great sleep, it's so important. I relish those nights that I get a full night's sleep because they are rare and I notice the difference in my system when I'm getting adequate sleep and adequate rest. So sleep is a trend that we're going to be looking at more and more. And when it comes to you, there's no set definition of how many hours you're supposed to get or what that is supposed to look like. So the really cool thing that's happening now is we're starting to recognize that everybody has different sleep patterns. Everybody has a different rhythm. What we need to start doing is acknowledging that all of us have these different patterns and rhythms and starting to work with them. I worked with a client a while ago who is a night owl. She functions best being awake late at night. And yet she felt like she had to force herself to go to bed at around 10 o'clock because, hey, that's what everybody else is doing. What we found out is that if we allowed her to work within her natural rhythm, if we gave her permission, if she gave herself permission to wake up later in the morning and then go throughout the night, she was that much more productive. She was able to get so much more done and she was able to do it in a way that felt good for her system. So when it comes to sleep, it's about finding out the right mix and magic that's gonna work for you. The third trend that I see when it comes to self-care is diversity. What we are starting to recognize is that all of us come to self-care and wellness with our own stories and experiences. It's not a one size fits all any longer. One approach for one person might not work for you because of how you are coming to your self-care journey. One of the things I see happening is that there is going to be more recognition around the fact that the wellness and self-care industries have been based on systems of oppression, have been based on profit making instead of actually putting people at the center of the industry. And it is an industry. We do have to recognize that. What I'm excited about is looking at the trend moving forward of deconstructing how wellness and self-care have been sort of packaged and produced over the last decade and watching that shift and watching it become more curated, more about the individual and more about what that individual is bringing to their self-care and wellness experience. I, for one, am stoked about this. 
I would be curious to know during this self-care miss what trends you are seeing when it comes to your own self-care. And if you have any, be sure to share them in the comments below. I'd also love to know what trend you're most interested in out of the top three I introduced to you today. If you are interested in up-leveling your self-care in 2020, I want to remind you that registration for the Inner Fire membership program is now open. This is a monthly membership program where you are going to get access to two live coaching calls with me per month. You'll be in a community with like-minded people who are ready to do the work to transform their lives. And we'll be covering everything. There's a monthly topic. We'll be looking at everything from your money mindset to how to manage your emotions to what it means to show up fully for yourself. If you're interested, I'm going to include a link for you to get more information and register in the description below. I hope you're enjoying self care MS. I hope that you're keeping yourself at the top of your festive to-do list. Stay ignited out there and I will see you soon. Bye.